Good evening. Good evening. And welcome to this blessed holy night. It's Christmas Eve. My name is Jeff Dixon. I'm the pastor at Community Presbyterian Church of San Manuel. This is Josefina Almada. She is a commission lay pastor at United Papago Presbyterian Church. And we, of course, we want to say uh, welcome to our special harpist, Carolyn Hansen, for being here with us this evening. And I will make sure to stick my mouth right in the microphone <laughs> so that I don't speak too softly. I apologize. You, you can't take your mask off when you're talking to the oh. oh, good. All right, I'll do that too. Yeah. Thank you, and, and uh, thank you for coming this evening. Our call to worship. O oh God of the stars of heaven and earth, we come tonight with breathless wonder to welcome the child who will change our lives. You have touched the earth this night with your life giving love. Touch our hearts and minds and souls, enliven this community of faith.
Our first reading for this evening comes from Genesis chapter 3, verses 8 through 15 and 17 through 19. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. The man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden. I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, Cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. And to the man he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten of the tree about which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. And toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you. And you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face, You shall eat bread until you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken. You were dust. To dust you shall return. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who was in the beginning who makes a dwelling among us, who covers us with justice and mercy. Let us pray. Lord God, we confess that we are not ready for Christmas. We may be ready with the gifts and the meals, but we have been distracted and discouraged. We have struggled to embrace the true meaning of this holy day. Awaken us to the truth of God. In Jesus, you came to dwell among humankind, to share our sorrows, our joys, our loves, and our daily lives. You came to give us life and to forgive us even when we reject you. Still our hearts and our minds, O God, help us to accept you with humility and faith. Prepare us to see the good news of great joy. Creator, Christ, Holy Spirit, beside you there is no one great. Stir in our hearts and move us to compassion. Stir in our minds and bring us wisdom. Stir in this world as people everywhere remember Jesus' birth. He came to give us soul and everlasting life, here and hereafter. To you, O God, we give all glory and praise. Amen.
our second lesson comes from Genesis, chapter 22, verses 15 through 18. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son. I will indeed bless you and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of your enemies and by your offspring shall all the nations of the earth gain blessings for themselves because you have obeyed my voice. And now a word of assurance. Glory to God most high, who has given us a Savior, the Messiah, the Lord. This is good news of great joy for all. Like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore, our blessings are too numerous.
Our third lesson comes from the prophet Isaiah. Chapter 9, verse 2, and then verses 6 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests on his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually. There shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness. From this time onwards and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Therefore, he shall give them up until the time 
what she is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kinder shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. If the Assyrians come into our land and tread upon our soil, we will rise against them, seven shepherds and eight installed as rulers. Son of the Most High. 
And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her.
seventh lesson comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 through 16. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing which has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste, found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. Bethlehem, 
in the land of Judea are by no means least among the rulers of Judea. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word, so I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. <coughs> when they saw the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and mirth.
our prayer of dedication. Let us together say this prayer. Most gracious God, Jesus is your greatest gift to the human with a grateful heart. not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light which enlightens everyone who is coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. If the world did not know him, he came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh, and lived among us, and we, have seen his glory. The glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth.
it is born as you go out into the world this week, tomorrow, Christmas Day. Spread Christmas joy with whomever you meet and let the love of God go with you and fill the hearts of those whom you encounter. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit go with you now and forevermore. Alleluia, alleluia. And the people said, Amen. 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 Merry Christmas. Amen.